Hi uh, guys, Niagara County here. Jim, um, I'm gonna do a little testing with the uh, Force Core today. Uh, we were talking the other day about the nails coming in, uh, say 20 to 40 uh, and under, and trying to figure out the VDIs mixed with a coin. Okay, right now I've got a uh, rusty nail at six inches, which I'll, I'll dig up in a second here. It's really got a lot of rust growth on it though. Um, so what it's doing is that those are the worst nails that give you some strange signals. Uh, this nail, I can tell by the sound that it's a nail, but the VDI will bounce all the way. Mm. I've got it in the 50s. If you get it, if you walk around it and you find the best signal, it hits perfect in the 20s, okay? So, in order to make that work, where we're going to be able to figure out if it's a coin and a piece of iron mixed together or a high conductor mixed with uh, iron at depth, we're going to have to find the sweet spot of that iron first, get the best lock, because then it shows us. Right there, I don't know if you can see that, it's showing a... 19, 20. If I hit right here, it's real bouncy, okay? And it's bouncing all the way up into the 70s. So I know it sounds louder there, but it's not the best lock because the numbers aren't consistent. So if you stay right here, I don't know if you can see that. I hit a 40 there, but most of the time it's 16 to 20. See what I mean? If you can see that. So you go by the target VDI when you have the, 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 less, the least fluctuation, you know you've got your best signal on that iron, okay? I'm going to flip this up, show you what we had down here, and then I'm going to put a coin in there. And we're going to see what happens then. There's the rusty nail. By the way, this hole is six and a half, six, six or six and a half deep. I'm gonna measure it for you real quick. Uh, sorry about the camera movement, guys. I'm gonna be moving the camera around with me as we do this. I'm always, uh, I have pretty shaky filming anyways, I apologize. So let's see, just under six. You guys can see that that's inches by the way just under I can flatten it down a little bit down there and give us a full six inches there we go that takes you a little more than six inches now I went a little too far that's all right so we're just a hair over six inches and you can see down here there's the rusty nail we used Okay, now I'm going to grab, let's go with the U.S. Dime. Bottom of the hole first, I'm going to go over it and just show you guys that it's, you know, we've got our signal. Loud and clear, beautiful steady 93-94. It's just over six inches. By the way, we're on DI3. I have uh, sensitivity, I think it's 75. Oh, I have ground tracking on, by the way, too. I'm gonna turn that off quick, we don't need it, and that actually can lose a little depth, I believe. I'm gonna reground the machine, or ground balance. Quite a bit, it's about eight, nine inches there. Okay, now let's lay the nail in the hole almost right on top of the dime. I have iron mask on, or I'm sorry, uh, ID mask on zero, guys. By the way, let me quick show you my settings. I have 
if you can see that we've got a lot of sun glare well, I hope you can see I can't tell I have mode DI3 sensitivity at 80 ID mask at zero and that's it volume at 20 tone we don't mess with in this mode okay okay that's with the nail macro back off it's with the nail and the dime look at that we cleaned it up got the dime 91, 93, 96. The number isn't, uh, actually, it's almost about perfect where it should be. Okay, let's flip the dirt back onto this. And actually, guys, I'm going to set the, the, the nail right on top of our dime, okay? Let's flip that down carefully. Okay, my VDI now is bouncing. You hear iron, we hear the iron, right? But the VDI is bouncing from a 20, let me see if I can get out of the sun. I want to get it from all angles. At this angle, we're going from about a 24 up to the 40s, high 40s. Now I'm gonna move around. Okay, now we're locked just on the iron. See that? 8, 17, 15. Now look, our VDI has jumped all the way up. Oh, 40s up to the 80 I saw. When you get a good lock on the iron, you can definitely, the VDI stays steady for the iron. But see how high of a VDI we're getting here? It, it sounds a little different. And our VDI is bouncing mostly up to the 50s. Seventies. Starting to hear the dime a little more right there. Oh, there's the dime. I think I would dig that. I'm not sh you know, I may, might dig that now that I know what's going on. Let me uh, put the ID mask up. I want to block that nail out. Let's go all the way up to 40, okay? Because then I know most all iron should be out. The only thing that won't knock out is those rust nodules that have grown. Look at that. Fifty. Fifty-three, fifty-four. Really steady right there, guys. That's with a nail laying right on top of the coin. Wow, that's good. Now You can hear it, but it sounds choppy like it's either, you know, it's broke. Now I would think, okay, it could be a large piece of iron. I raised my coil. No, it's not a large piece of iron. The signal's gone too soon. I 
I'm gonna dig that. It's gone right there. So because it disappears, I'm already thinking now that I know what I know that there's a piece of iron laying next to a high conductor and it's blocking it out when I get at certain angles. Wow. I'm getting decent VDIs, high 40s all the way up to 60s. Pretty consistent, okay? Now, let's pull that, let's pull the dime out. Okay, let's pull our dime out and leave just the rust right where it was, okay? I'm gonna set this, put this up here. And I'm going to, see the hole, there's just the rust, nothing over here, no funny business. We are going to see if we can get that same sound with no coin in there, just to make sure it wasn't the rust giving us a funny. Look at, this is right where we were. Oh. Spitting and sputtering, but I've got no. We've got no solid repeating tone, guys. Let's see, oh, little song, no. And remember, I have the uh, ID mask on 40 right now. Okay, there's the only repeat we can get out of that. And that's just the, the nail. So we've got no solid repeating like we had with that coin. There was a good signal in when you had that coin in there. slow I go okay now let's put the dime back there's our rusty loan this is a dime these are small so imagine if you had a little bigger coin you know okay there's a dime back underneath of our nail little different position this time. Let's see if we can still get it. I want to put this in carefully so I don't knock that nail off. Nice and slow. Okay. Stomp on a little. Look at that, guys. Lose it a little bit here. Now it sounds, remember the nail was sounding like that. Now all we're picking up is the nail at all because that nail was doing that by itself for us. It's a little bit of that bat. Starting to get to where we're gonna repeat. I would dig that all day long. I'm gonna tell you what, that is good discrimination see-through right there. You guys would dig that. Now that's just about six inches, a hair over. Wow, I'm liking that, guys. 
I'd feel confident going in and using my uh, discrimination and doing this. No problem. All right, you've seen enough for that. All right, I'm gonna hit the kill the film here and we'll do another clip on something else. I will put this up by itself. Uh, I think that's a good result. And uh, we'll try, uh, maybe we'll do a depth test or something next. Very happy. Good unit, guys.